Holly Much Arts teacher, author of the YA series, The Elementals, and the YA trilogy, The Lucia Chronicles. This is a YA book review of The Game of Love and Death by Martha Brockenbro. I had the privilege of meeting Martha at the Midwest Writers Workshop a few years ago, and I bought her book because I thought it sounded intriguing. So this is my review. The book is... Um, the story of love and death who are immortals and they each select a player for their game. Um, and the game is kind of like the, the two people they select either fall in love and the love has to be reciprocated and then love wins or if the love isn't reciprocated, um, death's player will die. At least that's the general premise. And so their players are uh, Flora and Henry and Flora is really into aviation and she is also into um, jazz music and she is a singer. She's also African American. Henry is Caucasian and he, um, they're both orphans and he is being raised by his wealthy uncle and his, uh, he lives with his little cousin and a cousin that's about Henry's age. So uh, overall I gave this book like three and a half, three point seven five stars. The writing is really stellar. Um, it takes place during the Great Depression era and it covers a span of time from when Henry and Flora are just born to how their paths cross until they actually meet and start interacting, you know, on a more regular basis. Um, it also interweaves tales that have to do with love and death and their personal experiences as well. Um, there's a lot going on in here, which is why I detracted a star or like a star and a half is because I felt like it was trying to be too many things at once. The primary focus is the interracial relationship during the Great Depression um, and then there is also a touch of um, you know homosexuality is addressed, aviation, the death of Amelia Earhart, uh, the jazz music component as well as playing an instrument. Um, there's also dealing with the actual life path of love and death and then there is um, Hoovervilles are mentioned and there's just a lot of topics covered and crammed into a not really super long book and there's also a lot of other great events mentioned besides the death of Amelia Earhart I believe the Hindenburg tragedy is mentioned um, a blitz battle in Spain is also mentioned and, I mean, it's kind of relevant to the story and it's kind of not. I feel like the primary focus is Flora and Henry's relationship and then the relationship of love and death and kind of how they mirror each other a little bit. Um, but sometimes it just felt like there was too much going on and it detracted a little bit from the heart of the story. Um, if you're looking for a diverse read, then this is definitely the one for you. If you're a fan of um, music, it's also, the music kind of plays more of a role a little bit at the heart of the story than the aviation. So that is, um, you know, an interesting component that is woven throughout the entire tale. So overall, I enjoyed this book, um, but I thought sometimes it was just trying too hard to be too many things and that it detracted from the heart of the story at times. So overall, if you're looking for a diverse read, then you should check out The Game of Love and Death. In the meanwhile, happy reading and happy writing.